Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and it's time for another review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing the Transformers Authentics Bravo 12-inch Bumblebee and Starscream. And we're going to take a look at Bumblebee first and compare him with a couple other Transformers Authentics Bravo Bumblebees. Here he is next to Legends. He's bigger than Legends. That's basically the smallest figure. Here he is next to Deluxe Class Authentics Bravo Bumblebee. And that's all there is to say for that comparison. Now we're going to do a Starscream comparison with the only Authentics Bravo Starscream we've had so far. I have to transform him off camera. Shouldn't take more than a minute to transform him. But he can be a little bit fussy. So yeah, I have to fold up his arms. You've seen the transformation for this guy on my first video of this figure. Here he is next to... Legends Authentics Bravo Starscream. I know we don't have a deluxe one. I hope with Authentics Bravo they give us a deluxe Starscream. But for now, this is very good. Now we're going to get down to leader comparison. Here is Authentics Bravo Starscream. With our other 12-inch Authentics Bravo, Megatron. And yeah, they look great together. Because they're both Decepticons, of course. And that's all there is to say for comparison. Now we're going to compare Authentics Bravo Bumblebee with Leader Optimus 12-inch. And they look great together. Leader and Scout together. I wish they'd give us a 12-inch Authentics Bravo Grimlock. That's the only one we're missing. But all in all, this is a great collection. For people like myself and want to get something locally, you can find these at your local Dollar General. And now we're going to get down the most important thing, transformation. And we're going to start with Starscream. Flip in the nose cone, cording in that in. Disconnect the arms. Disconnect the arms, and it popped out of the ball joint. Yeah, these 12 inch, sometimes they'll pop out of the ball joint. It happens. It does. Cording this up. And yes, he has Decepticon symbols, but they're so not painted, you can't see them. I don't know if you can make that out. Because what's Starscream without Decepticon symbols? <sighs> and now we're going to get Starscream transformed. And him out. And raise the camera. And there we have Screamer. And now we're going to transform Bumblebee. Authentics Bravo Bumblebee. Cordian these panels down to form the legs. Disconnect this top part. Form the arms. And there we have Bumblebee and Starscream together. And it's a nice set. It's a nice set of figures. And now we're going to compare Bumblebee with his other Bumblebee variants. So we're doing something different. Comparing them with other Authentics Bravo Bumblebees. Here is Authentics Bravo Deluxe Bumblebee. And I call these classes of figures, smaller between small and big. 
little bit of pronunciation issue. Sorry, it's my autism. And here he is next to Legends, Bumblebee. And that's all there is to say for the Bumblebees. We have three authentic Bravo Bumblebees. And I love the Bumblemeister. Just as much as I love Optimus Prime. And now, we're going to do comparison with Starscream. We're bringing Starscream back. Sorry. Lost my head there for a second. And now we're going to transform Legends Starscream. We're going to... His head can be a bit of a pain. We're going to disconnect his null rays. Connect them into these ports. If I can make it work without fussing issues. I do get issues trying to connect things sometimes. Second verse, just like the first. And then connect his null rays. That's the word I use. Yes, it's similar to a lot of other reviewers. <laughs> but that's the best word to use for these types of guns on his shoulders. On his arms. Sorry. Few pronunciation issues. And here he is with the other Starscream Legends. And yes, I'm hoping they give us a deluxe scale one. But for now, this will do... Now, for comparison, we're going to do the Authentic Bravo Starscream with none other than Leader Megatron. And I memorized Megatron's transformation because I've filled around with it more than anything. That's how I do things on this channel. If I don't know how to transform it, give me plenty of time to figure it out. And I will become a pro. And I have become a pro. And I've had plenty of time to review these and fiddle around with them, too. And there he is with Leader Megatron. And they make a perfect set. When they come out with the new Authentic Bravo Soundwave, it'll go good with this set. It won't be the 12-inch. But maybe sometime in the future we'll get a 12-inch sound wave and a legend scale sound wave. But for now, this'll do. That's all there is to say for Megatron. I'm going to put Starscream off to the side. And we're going to compare Bumblebee next to his Autobot leader, Optimus Prime. As soon as I can get him to stand, these... Panels are more fussier than anything. So please do forgive. Yeah, I have quite a bit of fussing issues. It happens. Here he is next to his Lear Optimus. And they look great together. I love Bumblebee a lot too. And I have quite a few primes. I can never get enough of Optimus Prime. He's my favorite. Leader of the Autobots. But Bumblebee, he's a good character. He's the scout and the most funnest Autobot. That's all there is to say for comparison. Now we're going to bring back Screamer. And we're going to end this video. You're probably wondering... Where did I get these? I got these from Dollar General for about 10 bucks a piece. Same for the Deluxe Scale and the Legend Scale. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out.